hello everyone and back again to another new video of like hyper geeky stuff in short i don't know it's hard to explain i mean the idea came to my mind across a few days ago like how to communicate with uh, individuals online via any secure means like not without using facebook owned or google owned or anything else so i just wanted to see much uh, how much private you can get online i mean nowadays everything is under either uh, any server owned or it may be private hosted somewhere so all of these things require i mean a parents node is always required so is it really possible to get uh, fully anonymous over the internet if you are communicating with someone i mean many controversial theories are there regarding the zoom chatting platform and all so i was just scouring over the internet searching along my way to find the uh, ultimate anonymous chatting service of sorts but here's the funny thing if you search for it you'll find nothing literally nothing all of these services have a pay and server mind it so at least google with google will not show you now like a tech freak so i'm just going to go to duck duck go our very own search engine let's see what it gives us and i'm pretty sure it will also not give us anything like okay these are not i mean preferable so as you can see here i don't know you can try if you like but i am not getting my kind of thing which i want i mean truly anonymous so like any other normal people i also searched over the youtube like yes you can see mr robot here this dude rami malek irc stuff posted and these are all bullshit according to me so yeah irc is good but irc still is maintained by a free node server or something like parent server so still many people use irc there's also some p2p alternatives p2p you can try this also but today what i'm going to show you is in my sense uh, the most safest and secure of all so uh, here also is another article from cora i found nothing literally nothing all crap all crap all 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 each and every article here is crap okay so literally your resources will be wasted if you search all this so now what way did i find out you all might be familiar with this ssh secure shell so this is the ssh protocol you can see here this is a client server and such and such way it just exchanged the public keys and you know encrypted communication happens so if you're on windows platforms and so yeah maybe windows only so you'll need some clients like putty and ssh clients others linux it's built in so you don't need it and what not you have just a list of this so so what actually uh, struck up my mind is that this thing this guy andrew petrov wrote this simple program based on the ssh he calls it ssh chat and here's the github repo i'll just explain it in a bit so he's telling that this idea is simple you open your terminal and type this you are uh, and all the boring documentation and all so ssh connection is encrypted secure and all you know when you connect with to someone via ssh you get this kind of problems and all yeah so this is like that yeah so what actually happens is that uh, so just clone or download this repo here he got it it's written in go custom ssh server written in go instead of a shell you get a chat prompt sounds fancy so 
so let's clone it now I have already cloned it so I will not clone it now as you can see here uh, let me pull out this uh, once so you can see I'm already in the SSH here I have downloaded in my downloads it's SSH chat so what it does is let me just minimize all of this let me open another terminal and if you just start here like SSH chat it will ask for your sudo password and by default it might be on uh, port 22 maybe you can customize it like SSH chat dash H help it will give you help like uh, where do you want to start uh, all the things like default your SSH ID will be in here and you can see bind to which port host port uh, host and port to listen on like default is 2022 so, and all like you can also open SSH chat oh so you cannot open sorry my bad so so yeah I'm just leaving it up the default so if you just start on SSH uh, server on this if any machine is connected on your local network you can just connect it like SSH then let's say uh, okay so first you need to like if config mm, so I'm connected by this network and my IP v4 address is this so let me just copy that connect it like SSH chat okay no SSH then let's say test one at you will apply your IP and press enter so it is just giving out this warning press enter and yes you can see I've just joined but there's no one else so let's open another terminal do the same thing with any different name like 2 and you can see test 2 joined You can see these two are talking now uh, this is not only limited to your local area network like for example I'm just quitting it okay how to quit it okay let me check the documentation okay slash exit fine okay so if you want to be connected what am I typing if config yeah so if you're not if you don't want to be connected only via your local network you will need either a static IP from your ISP or if you're like me living on the edge then just google like what is okay what am I type what is my IP let's see what it gives us so it gives us our public IP go screenshot it whatever you want I'm just copying it and just type here your IP press enter it asks yes and connect it so this is on my local connection this is via the internet so any of your friends can join you can just share your public IP with him or if you want you can just go into duck DNS like here DuckDNS is just a service which lets you uh, hook or like link your law public IP to a custom DNS so you just sign in here okay, just install so Linux mm, what do we have Linux yeah okay so let's cron it is just follow these instructions you can just host your uh, public IP into somewhat okay so that was just a message from one of my friends so yeah that's pretty much it and since it's your own server so you don't need to take any uh, tension and in my opinion this is by far the most 
secure network of sorts so give it a try and control d also closes it like control d and once you like close this you see signal shutting down no one can again connect like connection refu refused then local connection also refused like no one can connect so if you are like in a big corporate sector and want to communicate with your uh, what work associates within the company you can use this and moreover like if anyone wants to like communicate with anyone privately so you can use that but it's only limited to chatting and once a person disconnects there's no way of getting the chats back uh, like there's no chat logging I mean if someone can like take a screenshot or whatever or create a bot which will log the server but yeah you can just identify that person and kick him out it's simple as that so I hope you like my video uh, bang that like button and subscribe so thanks